بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules So in this session we will be studying um, another letter of uh, Arabic alphabet and it is called Saad So it is as bouncing effect at the end but we will explain that's one of the properties of Dal but we will explain that in one of the uh, lessons about that property it's called Qalqala uh, so how to pronounce it is Saad. The sound is so so Saad. The sound is so. So uh, the articulation point. It is one of the uh, lisan, the tongue letters. Okay, and it is um, the okay. It uh, the articulation point. Okay, if you see here, the tip of the tongue. That's the tip of the tongue. That's one place near the inner plates of the top two incisors. So near the inner plate, plates of the top two incisors, slightly above the lower incisors. Okay, slightly above, slightly above the lower lower incisors. See here. So the first one is the tip of the tongue here, uh, near the inner plates here, and this one is um, slightly above the lower incisors. So as more space is left when we are pronouncing it. Okay, so there's all the three different points of exp explaining the articulation point for Saad. Let me go back, let me go to the 3D model and see we can show you better. Graphical representation, okay. So the articulation points for this is that is the uh, tip of the tongue, okay, near the uh, inner plates of the near the the inner plates near the top incisors and uh, slightly above the lower incisors. Those three points are the articulation points when we're pronouncing the word, the letter so the so. So, is it a light or heavy letter? It is heavy letter. So when we're pronouncing it, uh, we can't, we don't make the smiling uh, uh, face, smiley face when we're pronouncing it. So for example, so de, so de, and the sound is so, so, so de. Is it a connector or non-connector? It is one of the connecting letters. Okay. Because if you see its connecting forms, uh, then you will see that if it's written, if it is written in the in the beginning of a word, then you can connect other letters with it. If it is written in the middle, then you can connect other letters before after it. Okay, and if it is written at the end of a word, then you can connect other letters with it before before it. Other letters before it. Okay. So that is actually the properties of connecting letter. So how it is written, uh, let me read out and then we will do it practically. So it is written by beginning the loop uh, at the end, at the lower left from slightly below the line. Okay. Moving up, okay, let me write it down and then explain that, I think that's better. It is written beginning the loop of the, okay. So it is from here okay moving up and to the to the right moving up to the right then circling down circling down and back to the round so we are back to the round here to the left creating a pearl or a teardrop so we have created a pearl or teardrop now followed by a large circular u so now we have to follow by large circular u that's solid okay so if you see other forms that would look like this similar teardrop shape okay if it is in the beginning and the middle it will look like this okay, so. uh, and the, at the end it would look like this okay 
So there's some different shapes of writing. So we can connect these Let me write it down. Okay, it's different types, different, uh, if it's connected, then we have to write it like this. So, okay, so uh, for transliteration purposes, we will use the, the letter S underscore, because we've been, we have already used the S for C. So we will be using um, S underscore for sword. So the English equivalent for this one, uh, this letter is S as in the words um, sod, sob or so. So these are the sound are similar to the sound of uh, Arabic um, sword. So that is the end of this session. Um, we will see you in next session, inshallah. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.